electricity consumption in the city of Johannesburg has really reached um, critical levels, forcing the city power to basically embark on stringent measures to protect the grid from the total collapse. These measures include intensifying the implementation of ripple relay systems to basically ensure that we cut off electricity to diesels in homes where the system is under threat and where reducing uh, reducing load and substation with higher consumption and those that are really under the threat and also intensifying cut-off operations in um, illegal connections, especially in the informal settlements where electricity theft is really is really rife. While other measures such as ripple relay and cut-off of illegal connections are currently underway to relieve the severe strain on the electricity network due to a massive increase in the demand, City Power will be implementing load reduction from Monday the 10th of June and uh, this is implemented during peak periods uh, from 4 in the morning to 10 in the morning and also in the evening from 4 to 10 um, uh, p.m. Load detection will be implemented in those high density areas and the load limiting through smart meters will also be implemented um, in those um, mostly affluent areas to assist customers in saving electricity without basically um, switching them off. The decision to initiate load reduction really follows an extensive effort to encourage customers to use electricity wisely and efficiently in recent weeks. Despite these warnings about the constrained electricity network in the city, residents have not reduced their, their electricity consumption and the demand has really skyrocketed. Our network is now at critical levels due to the continuous demand, which is higher than the electricity infrastructure can really withstand. As a result, we are implementing load reduction um, to areas where the load exceeds the designated maximum capacity demand. You'll remember that with the uh, designated maximum capacity demand, we are forced to pay penalties to the regulator, NASA and ESCOM whenever we actually exceed this. And most of these over 80 areas that we have identified um, as exceeding some of this is really to basically deal with some of those uh, kind of problems. So these eight areas will be affected and grouped into six blocks for load reduction, which will not exceed uh, two and a half hours per, 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 per block. Additionally, city power over the months will be monitoring our systems and we have recorded an enormous increase in the average evening peak load in some areas, which went up by 65% from 25 megawatts during summer months to about 33 megawatts between April and May 2024 uh, this year. In some instances, the load reaches 42 megawatts, constituting a staggering 110% increase in consumption levels in, consum in comparison with the warmer seasons. During January and March this year, the average of peak consumption at some of our substations has been sitting at uh, about 20 megawatts. And between April and May, consumption shot up by 50% increasing the off-peak load to 30 megawatts with temperatures expected to drop further even during between uh, now june and july the consumption level could have dire consequences on our systems and network infrastructure if load reduction is not agently implemented